Well, you know, oftentimes when we are aware of God's special blessing or his favor upon us, we exclaim, oh, isn't God good? This is Pastor Hayton and the Lord Light's devotional. I was thinking about the goodness of the Lord. And like I say, there's so many times that we recognize how good God really is. And uh, when I think about the goodness of the Lord, I think about how his goodness certainly is more than what I deserve or am worthy of. But uh, God is good. But we don't have to see a special blessing in order to recognize the goodness of the Lord. The Bible says that uh, God is a good God. And there used to be a little cliche that a lot of ministers would use when they'd get up to lead in worship. I got a little bit weary of it, but God is good. The people would respond all the time. The leader would say all the time. The people would respond, God is good. So we are emphasizing that God is good all the time. And we need to keep that in mind when we're going through the tough times of life. Like I said, it's not hard to recognize the goodness of the Lord when the sun is shining bright, when the burdens are light, when it seems like the pathway is smooth. Oh, we're just blessing the Lord for his goodness. But you know, that isn't always the way life is. There are times that clouds overshadow our life. There are times that we're going to go through times of deep grief or sorrow. There are going to be times that we suffer adversity or affliction. There are going to be times when the skies are not always bright and blue, and we still need to recognize that God is good. There are going to be times in our life when the burdens become heavy. Some of us are carrying some heavy burdens today. And uh, you know that I hardly know a person that isn't carrying some sort of a burden and sometimes those burdens can be so burdensome, they can weigh us down. We become weary under the weight of those burdens, and sometimes we just feel like maybe God's forgotten us, and he's left us to just kind of struggle our way through life. But I can assure you today that even when the skies are cloudy and the burdens are heavy, that God is good. The psalmist said that I had fainted, unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And so we've got to recognize today that we have a God that is good all the time. His goodness is not only shown when everything is going well, but even in the shadows of life and even carrying the heavy burdens of life, we can see the goodness of the Lord. I want to always be aware that God is good. And even though... Sometimes we seem to focus on, on the burdens and the grief that rather than the goodness of the Lord, yet we can still know that God is good. God is good to pr preserve our life. We're here today because of his mercies. He's here to protect us. I'm here today because God has had his hand protection upon me in many different ways down across the years. I've had some close brushes to death, and yet God is good, and he has protected me. God provides for my every need. I'm so thankful today that I am so sure that the promise that God will supply all of our need is so true, because he never has failed one single time to provide for a time of need. And so let's don't forget God is good all the time. And God is there to protect us. He's there to provide for us. He's there to see to it that we have all that we need as his dear children. So I want to recognize the goodness of the Lord, even when the sky is cloudy and the burdens are heavy. God is good. Heavenly Father, thank thee for your goodness to us. We aren't worthy. We don't deserve it. But yet, Lord, you love us so much. And you show your goodness in so many ways. Uh, pray thee, Lord, that thou would help us to always be aware of the goodness of the Lord. Now go with us down throughout the journey of life. In Christ's name, amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing, here on the Lord Lights Devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.